Hi, I'm Chad Bundy with the Harrison Clarksburg Health Department. Uh, I'd like to give the community an update uh, on COVID-19. We can confirm uh, two cases of COVID-19 in Harrison County. Uh, we found that out last night uh, about 4.30. Uh, in the second case, we were notified about 9.30. Uh, the cases are independent and unrelated. Uh, both cases received testing from Mount a Hospital Center out of Bridgeport, and they utilized an independent lab. Uh, and, then, and that's how we were notified by uh, United Hospital Center uh, leadership that we had those cases. Uh, cases were Harrison County residents, and we have uh, started our comprehensive epidemiological investigation and are looking at them uh, very closely with those tested positive. Uh, both of those uh, individuals are resting comfortably at home. They are not, ho they are not hospitalized, uh, and we are in contact with them continually uh, concerning their care. Uh, and monitoring them very closely. Uh, we had an emergency board of health meeting uh, yesterday at 4:45. Uh, we were able to disclose that to the board of health uh, that is currently chaired by Dr. George Shell. Uh, in attendance with that was all of the board members, including uh, Dr. Nancy Joseph, the county health officer. Uh, we were able to receive guidance uh, from Dr. Shell and the board, and from uh, Dr. Joseph concerning our first case. Uh, and consequently our second case at 930 uh, and we'll be putting those things forward uh, to best serve uh, the Harrison County community. Some of the things we have been doing uh, at the health department I'm joined here uh, by Director Laura Pease from Office of Emergency Management. Uh, we have been lockstep and working diligently uh, in fighting this virus without, throughout the county for the last several weeks now. Uh, we're working with multiple agencies uh, what the health department has done, we've worked with Office of Emergency Management, Board of Education, uh, County Commission, Clarksburg Fire and Police, Bridgeport Fire and Police, the airport, uh, funeral homes, urgent cares, and health centers. And we're doing everything we possibly can to assist them uh, probably weeks ago uh, on their planning for pandemic uh, coronavirus and now for implementing those plans and working through those issues with all of those agencies. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we're bringing on uh, additional staff here at the health department, uh, specifically epidemiologists that will help us track this disease. Uh, some of them have worked here before, others have worked in other health departments, but they're experts and will be helping us uh, in tracking this disease patient by patient. Uh, some of the things that are included uh, in an epidemiological investigation obviously is working at looking at close contacts to those people who have tested positive, uh, to looking at those family environments. Where have they worked? Where have they been? What have they done? Uh, then we'll be contacting those family members uh, and making uh, referrals based on whether we think they need tested, those type things, and do everything we possibly can uh, to limit this virus. And with that, I'm happy to take any questions you might have. Is there, I mean, <clears throat> of course, the risk to this virus is well known. Are there any more immediate risks to people here in Harrison County? Or were these caught early enough that hopefully they've been able to be contained as much as Right. That's an excellent question. Uh, I think we do have to consider uh, and taking our guidance from the governor yesterday uh, and his uh, medical advice that we have community spread at this point. Uh, it's been around in adjacent counties, as we all know. Uh, now we have it in Harrison County. So now we need to take those extra precautions and, you know, we need to stay home. Uh, we need to stay home. We need to keep a safe distance. If we have to go out to those things that are allowed through the government, governor's plan, uh, we need to wash our hands often and thoroughly. Uh, we need to cover our, our coughs and sneezes and do everything we can uh, to possibly stay healthy. And now is the time to act. Uh, we've talked about it previously. Uh, we now have it in Harrison County, and we are, we are challenging every community member to look out for themselves and their families and also each member in Harrison County. Uh, now is the time uh, to think about yourself and your family, but also to think about others uh, as they may be exposed to the virus. So really take a look at uh, staying at home and following the governor's guidance. Now is the time to do that. You mentioned that you know, there has been a concern some time about community spread with the pandemic. From my recollection, the former 20 cases around the state had mostly, if not all, been related to travel outside of West Virginia at this point. Any idea on the provenance of these two cases here are yeah, so obviously we have uh, started our preliminary investigations and in both those cases in Harrison County uh, are travel related and we're looking at uh, now where they've been, who they've been exposed to, uh, potentially looking very closely for that uh, person to person potential spread.
What's so, next for these cases? Are uh, they they're just to be quarantined at home or? Yes, they are uh, self quarantined at home uh, and resting comfortably. Both. So did they see tests because of travel? Was that how that happened, or was it symptomatic related? Or I don't know if you have that information. Uh, Upon the preliminary investigation, we believe that they were uh, exposed to travel, and that's how it got to Harrison County. Whether that be, uh, and I think that's new now, that's not necessarily out of the state of West Virginia, but they were somewhere uh, outside of Harrison County and brought that disease to us. Uh, you know, previously that might have been out of state, maybe uh, international travel, but now we're, because we have so many cases, uh, we try to track that initial case, where did it come from? Uh, and that's, again, under a preliminary investigation where we believe it started. How, how were they... Found to have this case, or did they become symptomatic and get the test themselves, or were they being tested in some other fashion as a matter of principle or course? Well, that's uh, an excellent question. What we want all Harrison Countyans to do is, if they feel ill, we want them to contact a physician, and these folks did, uh, and walk through them uh, with symptoms. How to, do you have a sore throat? Uh, do you have a fever? Uh, do you have a dry cough? Uh, those are the symptoms of COVID-19. They were obviously found to be uh, true in these cases, and then were written a script from their, their local physician uh, and sent to the testing. Te we have multiple testing sites now in Harrison County, uh, uh, the primary being United Hospital Center out of Bridgeport. Uh, we also are testing out of uh, community care, Rosebud Plaza, uh, and MedExpress in Bridgeport as well. So uh, we're excited about that. Those people are, are coming together. And we're working lockstep with the hospital. They've just been fantastic to work with, uh, as well as WVU. And, and we're providing each other with a lot of guidance as we walk through this uh, new novel coronavirus disease uh, and trying to find solutions. That's it for me. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Joey, not have anything. Ms. Snodder, do you have any, que any questions? I do. I do. Um, do you know, um, maybe I missed this um, while you were talking, but um, what were the locations of the travel of the two individuals? We're not going to do, uh, relay that information at this time. Okay. And um, you said you're doing the investigations, uh, contacting the people they've been in contact with. How long does that process kind of take? Because I know a lot of people are kind of concerned, you know, about whether it's somebody that they know or they were in contact with. So how long does that process kind of take for those contacts to be made? Sure. The, re the coronavirus now is a reportable disease. And what that means to your health department is all providers in Harrison County, West Virginia, or the country are required to report that uh, pretty much immediately to their health departments. Uh, we start tracking those and making those contacts, and it's our responsibility to monitor those cases. So we will monitor them from uh, onset to where they were tested positive uh, right through to when uh, they no longer carry the disease. And we will work with the hospital uh, and their physician to make that determination. Do you contact the people that they've been in contact with, though? Uh, know? Yes, as I said previously, uh, we will, as part of the investigation, uh, we will look at, you know, where they have been, who they have been in contact with, obviously very focused on their family members, uh, and refer and request testing based on that exposure. Okay. And, Thank you. Uh, so, uh, to your knowledge, uh, maybe that you're not far enough into the investigation, but do you know if they have been self-quarantining at all since their travel, um, or have they been out? Uh, you know, grocery shopping, uh, going to work, things like that. We have uh, relayed the information we will based on the patients. Uh, we're very concerned as other people test positive in Harrison County. We want them to understand uh, that their private information will remain just that. We will do everything in our power, uh, Joanne, to look at those case by case, notify those people and organizations that need protected. Okay, thank you very much. And, uh, 